Do you ever like leave your phone at home by accident and forget it? I don't never leave the phone at home. I got a wife. Can't do that, buddy. What's up, GQ? It's where I'm set. And these are the 10 things that I cannot live without. My baby's right here. You see these? These right here. These are some 85s. You ain't got these, and then the, the condition I got them in is just so perfect and beautiful. The thing why I love these shoes is they don't even got a match. You can just throw these on, because it's just it's the 85s. What's somebody going to say to you? How many ones you got? Over like 200, probably, for sure. And how many 85s I got? I probably got like, I got the black toes. I got these. I got three pair of these, actually. I got one in the size nine. And I'm, a, and I'm a nine and a half, ten. But they were so clean, I just had to get them. So I probably got like four pair, five pair. I ain't never caught nothing off of eBay. I be scared a little bit, too. I ain't gonna get caught for nothing. I don't got everything I want. I just want everything. You know what I've been looking for, though? Me and my boy a I've been looking for the, all the old Barclays. Can't find them. Can't find them at all. And I like I like 15s. So you got to really know what you're doing. You like the 15s. Who you think your collection rivals? PJ Tucker, for sure. Fat Joe. Fat Joe is a maniac. And then Mayor. Mayor had like some suede orange threes. I ain't gonna lie, Lil Yachty nasty, too, though. He get wicked with it, because he'll go old school Nike like that everybody don't know nothing about. So current rappers, nobody fucking with you? No. My next essential, <laughs> the patchwork chromes. See, the reason why I love these is because I've been on it. See what I'm saying? Like, I've been on it. I like to see the growth of when I wear something and it, it, I see it everywhere. These pants right here, my pair be one of one, so I get mine custom, so ain't no, they not in the market. And then, like, if you ever see the resale value on chrome, it be like 20, 30,000 for, for the jeans. So it's like, can't really go in the store and buy them out the store. So it's not accessible for everybody. I did a mic look for Mullen Live Miami, and I got a custom from Chrome Heart. And so that's my people. So you gotta have the chromes, and everybody don't got these. You gotta watch them crosses too, cause them boys be capped. See, the crosses don't be together. Them crosses, Peeling up and they be a certain shape, they be having cap chrome heart. You ain't tricking me. I don't wear a mirror. Nothing against Michael Mirror. Shout out to him, he's a great designer, but I don't wear Michael Mirrors. I was wearing those in 2017 in Bad and Bougie video. You can go check the receipts. I just be trying to be ahead of the curve a lot of times with things that I do. Mannequin challenge. A lot of these cats be looking like mannequins, but I'm gonna stay in my lane. I like pieces, that's all I say. I just like pieces. Uh, it's a piece because it's not what everybody else is. You can't, everybody can't get to it. And it's like understanding the brand and what you love and like about the brand. Stay away from what everybody else got. All right, so the gloves, right? It's always a good accessory, like for a fit, or like especially when I'm performing, I always like to have a glove on. These right here, of course, inspired by Mike. I'm just following to the character of like making myself better as a solo act and taking it there, like creative, creatively wise, and making it about me. First and foremost, it's my favorite artist of all time. Got him tatted on me twice. I got like a baby picture, like when we were so broke, we had like books on the TV. Like to hold the TV up, and I'm like standing in front of that with a button, unbuttoned shirt with glove on, like when I'm probably like five or six or something like that. He's just always been my favorite artist. I just appreciated the art he put into himself. It's like he don't care about nothing else. He's just making himself better, and it's kind of like my story of how I feel. And like his album was off the wall. My album name is Set It Off. I'm staying in character for my album. I ain't gonna talk too much on it, but I got these custom made. These right here is Chrome custom. These is crazy, one on one, can't get these. I be liking a lot of gloves, it be like worker gloves, like with the little knuckles on it, or like this is a this is a worker glove, but it look like crazy. It just be a good accessory for the outfit. Like if I throw these gloves on right now, it's gonna look good with what I got on. And if I need to knock somebody out, just playing. See what I'm saying? These right here just look hard. It's just a good accessory. My next essential will have to be glasses. Let me put these on, show you how good I look with them on. I like the mysterious and you not seeing my eyes. That's why I always get lokes. I do like light glasses here and there. It depends on the outfit for that. But for the most part, I like dark glasses. It's just, it's a need. 24 hours, I'm in the club with the glasses on. In the interview, glasses on. In the bathroom, glasses on. I like older Versace glasses. Those are the, always the best because I get that from watching Master P a long time ago, like one, one of the guys who influenced me on. Prada got these specific glasses I love. I keep wearing them. They got like the Octavian side. They just fit my face so perfect. I like slim glasses. I don't really like the big wide lens glasses because they ain't, they don't be fit my face. I lose glasses all the time and sometimes I be mad because sometimes you can't find them. Like the Pradas, they didn't, they didn't restock those for like a month and a half, two months. So I was just without them. I always do glasses though, it's just gonna happen. So my next essential, bring the treasure chest out. This ain't all up, but it's the jewelry. It's my jewelry case. Turn that around for you. I'm big on my Jesus pieces. It's the rose gold with the big emerald sets in the head. 
You gotta catch that right there. Shout out to my jeweler, Elliot, the best jeweler in the game. You see how he put the pink stones with the blue stones and the head cross? Like, he be making fine jewelry and it just stand out like, like this piece right here. Like, like, why do you got the yellow flower sets in there with the pink and the blue? Like a different chain It just hit like, just hit different, you gonna get your money worth. This is early Elliot, that's Ric Flair. Woo! This is the bando piece right here, you know. Big dog, and it stand up. You see, this is what Elliot do. He put screws in the back, the details. He got spray paint in the house. They say Migo game Bando, cause it's a Bando, it's the Bando house right here. Then look at this piece right here. This is the gold version. Instead of it being all bust down, it's like gold with the diamond and bells. This, this is something Tiffany would make. How they would, the style that they would go not so bust down. And just the pear shapes inside of the flowers is heavy. You can, you can hear it. So like, even while I'm talking right now, my chains ain't clacking cause it's like he put the heavy weight into it. And of course we got the, the three-headed monster. Meal gang for life. That's just what it is. End of the day. He put the emeralds, he put our face, our actual faces. We got diamonds in our glasses, earrings. We got chains on the chain. It's just disrespectful. This shit costs a lot of money. If I'm gonna spend my money, I want my money to be sacred. And then he, he then also Elliot teach you about the jury. So he gonna teach you, he gonna give you the game on what the diamonds is and what to look out for, even when you shopping outside of him. That's why I fuck with him. Like, I could call him and be like, hey, he won't talk you out of it. And be like, nah, come to mind. He'll be like, get this one, don't get that other one. That other one don't look like it's woo woo woo, or like the cut on it, or how they prong, or the setting of the diamonds ain't really what they saying it is. And if you do that to most other jewelers, they gonna hate and be like, nah, come straight to me. We came in like wearing a ring on every finger. When it was just gold, before it was diamonds, we had multi, multi chains, and then like the length of the chain, making it shorter and more presentable so it ain't like dangling, going everywhere. And we definitely influenced the game. The double watches was a thing in a time, you know what I'm saying? We was just flooding it up and like, we having two watches, two bust downs on, but now I switched up my whole thing. I don't even wear bust downs. It's plain Jane or nothing. Yeah, I want my watch to be worth something. I ain't trying to lose value in it. This is what I said on, on the rocks. Yes, yeah, sir. My bad. I guess this was on the rocks too. My next essential, my phone and my headphones. You know, the phone, I can never lose this phone because it got my unreleased music in there and a certain file on the phone. That's just super important. You know, family, I can be reached with my kids. I got my brother's tape on the back of my screen. I always reminded that we do it for him. I like the Apple headphones because it's like a fashion statement too. I ain't gonna lie, like you can put these on with a fit and it kind of look good with the fit. And also like, you could, you could block all the noise out with these, so. That's why you gotta have that phone and them headphones. I feel like a lot of people do the in ears because they also talk. See, I never talk on headphones. I only listen to my music and like my mixes and like the production of it in the headphone because I would want to know like how somebody who might be working out got some headphones in. It's a, always, always for music for me. I might do a voice memo if like a producer sent me something in the car and I play it real quick. I might do a voice memo just to have the reference idea. But other than that, it's mainly in the studio though. Anybody I'm listening to, I'm rocking with my boy Trav right now. His album Draw Utopia is shit hard. Don. He dropped the album, it was hard. Pluto, he be going crazy. Thor dropped the album, it was hard. Yeah, same old, same old. And I just been really focusing on my sound and like trying to mastermind, like to make sure it's that pressure, you know? Do you ever like leave your phone at home by accident and forget it? I don't never leave the phone at home. I got a wife. Can't do that, buddy. I need to be able to pick it up. I got kids, I got too many important, it's, it's too much business to be handled. I never leave my phone, you need that phone. The wife shit's for real though. So for my next essential, it will have to be my big Hermes bag where I carry the essentials in. It's so big, I can put a whole outfit, shoes, I can put my glasses, my gloves, everything in it. And also, it's an army fatigue bag, so any outfit I put on, it go with it. Black, white, green, purple, whatever. It go with everything. Inside of here, got an essential inside the essential bag, big. Watch your ass, boy. Oh, uh, I think it was like 30,000. But the thing is with the Hermes bags, all of them going value. So right now it's probably 60,000 or 70,000 on the market. They only give two bags a year to the client, no matter who you are. So you gotta, it's allocated bags. So yeah, it's rare. If I could catch it, then I'm gonna buy it for sure. Cause I know it's a piece and it's also gonna go up in value. So I'm not gonna never sell it, but it's also, it's just like, it's a piece like we was talking about earlier. It's like, that's a piece. The bag inside this bag is a piece too. I'm gonna show you. This is the chrome. I think it's from like the 90s. If you're gonna have a bag on, it gotta be a piece. It has to be a piece. <sighs> Next essential lighter, gotta have a lighter. And they got my brother take on it. You know, my boy love the gas and blow one. Every time I light one up, it's like I'm blowing my boy, so. 
I mean, you got a, a big angle never fail, you know what I'm saying? But I like this lighter in specific because it's custom and I got this picture on a lot of lighters like this. Oh yeah, I like grab, I like, I like grab a leaf, actually the leaf, and I wrap it up in the paper too, cause see me, I'm a harsh smoker, so I like my blunts to kick and <laughs> it's more healthy, of course, the paper, straight paper, but I prefer a grab. My next essential, hygiene. And fellas, you gotta be clean. I wash my face with Stridex because I got I got oily skin. I hit the face up with Stridex. I don't wear lotion. I only wear oil because I'm smooth like that. You see what I'm saying? I got dark, beautiful, chocolate skin, so I like the skin to be moisturized and be looking good. So I don't really rock with the lotion. It be kind of too thick for me, personally. I do spray deodorant. Sometimes the white deodorant be like all on my clothes. I'm not with all that. Aquaphor, like I said, with my skin, I don't play. So if I don't have no, no oil, I'm gonna put some aquaphor and put some on right now. And then it's skin tight right here. So I get like hair bumps from like shaving my hair. So when I get cut up, I gotta go skin tight, dissolve and close my pores up so I be nice and clean. And that's it right there for the hygiene. My next essential, wall clippers. You can never go wrong with wall clippers. And me personally, I can get an ingrown if my hair grow out too long. My hair like be going curly. So I always gotta cut my, my beard, my facial hair. We go old school. My granddaddy used to cut me with these, you know what I'm saying? These are never fair. You make sure you clean them, you oil them up. You take the screw loose when you need to. Get up under that blade, keep that face clean. And that's how we coming, man. So I use them probably like three days, every three days. Cause I don't be wanting no ingrowns and no bumps and shit. So I just go and chop it off. GQ, thank you for having me. I might not go get that. You dig?